This video is presented to you by www.testpreparder.com. Dear students, in this video lecture, I will start the discussion of general organic chemistry. Dear students, general organic chemistry is the foundation of organic chemistry. If you want to understand the organic reactions, you need to have a good understanding of GOC. In this chapter, we will learn number one, different types of electron displacements, inductive effect, mesomeric effect, electromeric effect, hyperconjugation. Number two, different types of bond cleavages. Number three, different types of reaction intermediates and their stability like carbocation, carbonion, free radical. Number four, different types of reagents like acid, base, electrophile, nucleophile. Fifth, comparison of acidic and basic strength of different compounds. Sixth, aromatic, anti-aromatic and non-aromatic compounds. Seventh, isomerism. Dear students, after completing this GOC, you will be able to study organic reactions very easily. I'll start this session with the term chemical equation. What do you mean by a chemical equation? You must have seen different organic reactions many times. For example, if I write CH3 CH2Cl plus KOH in H2O, the products here we get are CH3 CH2OH plus KCl. Uh, in this reaction, left hand side we have reactants. Right hand side, we have products. This is the solvent. So, a reaction can be represented, a chemical equation can be represented with the help of reactants, left hand side, then arrow, and here we can write solvent, and then products. So basically chemical equation is what? Chemical equation is nothing but a symbolic representation of the chemical change. A chemical equation is a symbolic representation of a chemical change. Now if you analyze, if you analyze different different organic reactions you will find that there are two types of reactants. Two types of reactants. Number one, substrate. Substrate. Number two, reagent. Reagent. Now what is substrate? Now what is reagent? You can see here, substrate is that organic reactant which undergoes the structural change to give the product by bond breaking and bond formation process. Now what is reagent? That organic reactant, mostly inorganic, which causes the structural changes in this substrate. Now, I will tell you this in a simple term. For that, 
again i'll take the same example ch3 ch2 cl plus koh in h2o giving ch3 ch2 oh plus kcl out of these two out of these two reactants this is the substrate this is the substrate and this is the reagent and in most of the cases that inorganic substance will be the reagent and carbon compound will be the substrate let me tell you a chemical reaction a chemical reaction is a kind of fight it's a kind of fight between substrate and reagent and in that fight substrate is that component or substrate is that reactant which is being attacked substrate is actually being attacked and reagent is that reactant which attacks the substrate attacks the substrate it's like uh, when there is a fight between a cat and a rat it's obvious that cat attacks the rat so rat will be the substrate and cat will be the reagent so in all organic reactions you'll find substrate you'll find reagent and you need to understand the concept that substrate is attacked by the reagent and this way the reaction proceeds dear students on the basis of reactants and products virtually all organic reactions i'm telling you all organic reactions fall into one of four categories that are substitution reactions addition reactions elimination reactions and rearrangement reactions i'll discuss these reactions one by one in substitution reactions one atom or group attached with carbon atom is replaced by another atom or group i will show you for example if i write ch3 ch2 ch2cl reaction of this with koh this is propyl chloride and reaction with koh in presence of h2o here the product we get is ch3 ch2oh that is propyl alcohol plus kcl here you can see this cl this cl is replaced by oh the cl is replaced by oh so this is substitution or displacement reaction students please note that substitution reactions are characteristic reactions of saturated compounds such as alkanes alkyl halides alcohols and aromatic compounds even though these aromatic compounds are unsaturated we will discuss about these reactions in detail in respective chapters okay now i'll talk about addition reactions in addition reactions a simple addition takes place all parts of adding reactants appear in the product here two molecules become one i will show you if i take this ethene this ethene when treated with br2 this ethene is the substrate and br2 is the reagent in the 
CCL4 that is the solvent the product that we get is this dibromoethane here you can see two molecules become one dear students please note that addition reactions are characteristic reactions of those organic compounds which have multiple bonds multiple bonds means double bond or triple bond like alkenes alkynes aldehydes ketones here you can see the reactant has got multiple bond point is clear now i will talk about elimination reaction Elimination reactions are just opposite of addition reaction. Here, products are formed with multiple bond. Again, multiple bonds means double and triple bond. Loss of atoms or groups by substrate. I will show you. If I take CH3, CH2, CH2, Cl, propyl chloride and this is reacted with KOH in the presence of C2H5OH. So, the product obtained here is CH3, CH double bond CH2 plus KCl plus H2O. Here you can see one Cl and one H. These two atoms are removed from the substrate and in the product we are getting this double bond. Point is clear? Dear students, now if you compare this reaction which I have written in elimination, if you check the substitution, there I have written CS3, CH2, CH2, Cl plus KOH. CH3, CH2, CH2, Cl plus KOH in H2O. The solvent was water and the product was CS3, CH2, CH2, OH plus KCl. Now, you see the substrate is same. The reagent is same. Where is the difference? The difference is at the solvent level. Here, we are getting different products. That is the effect of the solvent. We will discuss all these interesting things later on when we discuss the chapters. Okay? Students, please note that elimination reactions are characteristic reactions of compounds like alcohols, alkyl halides, etc. And we will discuss all these reactions in detail in respective chapters. Okay. Now I will talk about the rearrangement reactions. Here, rearrangement of substrate takes place. What is rearrangement? Reorganization of constituent parts within the molecule to produce new molecule. I will show you. If I write this compound. This is 3 comma 3 dimethyl but 1 e. When this compound is heated in presence of concentrated acid, a strong acid, H2SO4 like. Then some rearrangement takes place for this substrate and the product we get is this. This is 2,3 dimethyl but 2 e. So, 
थ्री कॉमा थ्री डाइमिथाइल ब्यूट वन इन इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू टू कॉमा थ्री डाइमिथाइल ब्यूट टू इन बाई हीटिंग इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड एसिड in this case you can see not only the shifting of double bond it is the migration of this methyl group also so this is a rearrangement reaction there are different rearrangement reactions that we'll study later on like fries rearrangement hoffman rearrangement lozen rearrangement beckman rearrangement we will study all these rearrangement reactions later on okay dear students in the next video lecture i will talk about the mechanism of the reaction you must have heard the word mechanism i will tell you the real meaning of the mechanism in the next lecture thank you This video is presented to you by www.testpripadda.com. Testpripadda.com provides free audio-visual lectures of different subjects by expert faculties. Free online tests prepared by expert faculties to students who are preparing for engineering or medical entrance exams. or planning to take exams like kvpy olympiad etc it provides a platform where students can interact with mentors to improve their performance in the exams the mission of this online medium is to help students to achieve their goals log on to www.testpripadda.com to watch free video lectures on different topics to download free revision notes to take free chapter wise online tests progressive test and mock test to discuss doubts with mentors thank you for watching the video to stay up to date with the latest videos subscribe to our youtube channel like us on our facebook page test prep adda all the best